Welcome back to Bridging the Gap. We're here in Carrollton today with a special event and Miss Holly Dawson is gonna tell us all about that. What is it, Holly? We have our fourth annual Out of the Darkness Walk here in Carroll County this year. And uh, we're expecting two to 300 people. We're really excited. It's for suicide prevention and mental health awareness. Um, and that's important. It's that's very important. We have to keep talking about it to take yes. that stigma away from it and let people they're not alone. Um, so it's, it's, it's a great day to come. It's a healing day. Um, it starts at 9.30, registration starts. And then the walk doesn't start till later though, Yes, right? the actual walk program will start at 11. And um, the walk will start as soon as the speakers are done. We have a bead ceremony. Um, so it's, it's a nice, um, nice thing to watch right. and be a part of. And then there's things people can bring mm -hmm. to do the memorial. What are those Yes, things? they can bring a picture, eight by 10 or smaller, of a loved one that they've lost to suicide. And they can place it on the memorial wall and um, they can take the photo home with them when they're done. Right. Um, so, or they can make a copy of the photo, whichever they, they prefer. Right. And uh, we also have silent auctions. We have now, what are some of the things you have in the silent auctions? I find this very interesting. This is really yeah. cool. You're gonna, you're yeah. gonna like some of this we stuff. We have uh, spring meat tickets from Cuba yeah. that were donated. We have UK basketball tickets as well. Yeah. We have a massage from a peaceful place. We have all kinds of goodies. We have um, purses and candles and all kinds of nice stuff. Now that's just a little bit of what they have that's going to be here tomorrow. Yes. So now tomorrow, when they get here, you also need volunteers. Still. Oh yes, we can put you to work. Definitely so. put you to work. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really important. You can't have an event like this unless you have volunteers. You know, in order to get things put together, sign-ins done, yes. you know, whatever, pick up later as far as the trash goes, whatever. Yes. Two people can't do all this. And, and like right now, we have behind us. I don't know, what is there, eight or ten guys out there? Yes. They're putting together the tent for tomorrow, so it takes a lot of volunteers. It so does. what do they need to do when they come tomorrow if they want to volunteer? Uh, if they want to volunteer, they can show up between 8 and 8.30, um, and we will put them to work. We and do, is there anybody specific they need to see, or just somebody um, in a shirt? They can see, uh, I'll be in a red shirt, uh, this is a bit staff, or just ask anybody who looks like they're being busy. Because <laughs> I have the greatest friends and community members, they're always here right. to show up, and they all know what's going on. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now what if what if somebody didn't know this was happening this weekend mm -hmm. and they just found out, can they still sign up Absolutely. and walk in the wall? Yes, we'd love to have them. Yes, they can sign up uh, still online or they can come tomorrow morning starting at 930 and register. There is no fee to walk. It's only if you feel like donating that you can, uh, but that's how we raise money is by donations. And this is our biggest uh, fundraiser of the year oh, for the Kentucky right. chapter yeah. of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. But there is an event that you do pay $5 for yes. to have something special in the wall. Yeah, it's that? a fun part of our event. It has become a favorite of a lot of people. Um, everybody loves dogs, and, or most people do. I do. I have to work home. And we have a costume contest. So this year's categories are cutest in an AFSP bandana, which is yeah. available for purchase at the walk. Um, cutest costume, scariest costume, funniest costume, and best owner dog duo if you want to dress up with your dog. Right. So uh, it's $5 donation to enter, and then prize baskets are provided by Brenda's Biscuits. Oh, and they're wonderful. She's uh, a 4 H student yes. who has been helping us since 2019. Yeah, I saw her stuff. She does some cool she things. She does. My dogs love her treats. Oh, wow. wow. So now you got those things. So you got to remember you can still register in the morning, you can still volunteer in the morning. So now there's some other things that, why does this event happen? What is the reason for it? It is our biggest fundraising event for uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention chapter here in Kentucky. I am a board member, and um, but we provide support for people who have lost someone to suicide, uh, which is how I initially became involved with this, um, because I lost my daughter to suicide in 2015. We have support groups, National Day of Healing, but we also provide lots of education and programs to schools, to communities, and then we uh, do research. Everything we do is science-based. All of our programs are science-based, so that takes research. And we have lots of people out there working towards, you know, finding ways to help people. Um, and then also advocacy, which is a great, one of the fun things I like to do. Um, 
recently 988 was passed in July. Yes. So now if you're in crisis, you call 988 instead of along 1 Everyone very, could be an advocate. You were very instrumental in getting that 988 number. Um, I feel like I had a, a small part. I did go to Washington, D.C. in 2019 pre COVID. And right. then I speak with them every year now by Zoom. Hopefully, next year we'll be in person. <laughs> that uh, would be nice. But it is. I do feel like there were so many organizations, including the AFSP, that were part of it. But I did. I went to D.C. and I, I showed them my video and my daughter and why I advocate for suicide prevention and smarter mental health laws. And um, so I feel like I was a small part of that. Right. And it took a long time, and people worked hard, and it's a great thing. It is. It is, especially if it's being 988. It's yes. not a long phone number. Right. So when you are stressed or, you know, concerned about something, you can just dial 988. Yes, yes. It, it's, so. yeah, anytime someone's in crisis, you can call it, whether it's yourself or you're concerned about someone else in right. crisis, you can call it, and they'll tell you what you need to do. Well, that's cool. So that, then a lot of the things is, um, what does some of the research go for? Uh, there are lots of different research things. Um, a lot of it is, you know, for what causes suicide, ideation. Uh, there are so many different things, but all of our programs are based on research and what works. So, in what areas we need to put them in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, that, there's some other things going on tomorrow. Not just the walk and not just the dogs and the, the costumes and all that, but there's other things going on before 11 o'clock. Yes. What are those? Yes. Uh, that will be the dog contest, That's the silent auction. We will have uh, donuts from Doe Baby Donuts in LaGrange. Yes. Um, also, um, if you raise $150 or more, you get one of these t-shirts. Yes. And um, these are compliments of our sponsors. We have tremendous sponsorships from our community this year. Amazing. Uh, you were amazing. telling me, some of these sponsors, there's... There's not just one or two. 31 that's, that's sponsors amazing. plus nine in-kind in -kind sponsors. So right. we have 40 sponsorships this year. Actually, it's the first year we almost didn't have enough room on the shark for all the sponsors. It's huge. Huge. That's huge. great. I mean, just to get that. Next yeah. year, you might have to put some on the front. Yes, yes. Let's we'll, hope, we'll do what we have to. Let's hope that next year, some of them are on the front. Yeah. You know, so yeah. there's so many. Yeah. So that is wonderful. And uh, then we do have uh, beads that correlate with the reason you're here walking. They're different colors. And then we have sand as well. Right. So make sure to visit the bead or sand booth and get your free beads and uh, put the sand in a glass container and be a part of that ceremony as well. Oh, that is neat. So now at 11 o'clock, though, things actually get going. Yes. And that's, that's not actually the walk itself. No, that is. At um, 11, it starts what? Yeah. That, um, I will say a few words, and then we have Rochelle Ketron from Owen County, who will be sharing her story of why she walks um, tomorrow. And then we have our lead ceremony. So uh, that's a really, um, it's, it's a, it's sometimes a hard thing for people to do that, but then it's, it can be very healing as well when they participate and they get to share a little bit about why they're walking. Right. And you know, if somebody is a little nervous about it, if they, if you just come and you're just hanging out with people here, they've been through what you're going through. Yes. Yes. It's, you know, when I went to my first wall, I think it's after I lost my first know had been through yes. this with a, a relative yes. they're here or yeah. a friend that you didn't know anything mm -hmm. about you're going to find out there are people you know that have been through this yes, yes. so and, and, it, and it used to be a taboo subject to talk about yeah. and, and we're we're breaking that stigma we're talking about it and yeah so we're, we're coming out of the door <laughs> this is so cool now is there anything we need to make sure they know about tomorrow that we haven't covered already um uh, there are porta potties here and hand washing stations hey, that's great uh we are gonna have hot coffee for free and donuts bananas granola bars we're gonna have pumpkins for the kids as well so there is something for children um parking is in the old jctc parking lot or down here at point park wherever you can find on the side of the street but the jctc parking lot is a great place right. to park there's a sponsor Mm -hmm. that didn't actually sponsor yet, mm -hmm. but they still a business or corporation that wants to donate to this. How can they do that? They can contact me um, 
and they um, can donate still. We'll give them a shout out tomorrow if they want to contact me, or we'll give them Facebook shout outs if they contact me next week. We'll still uh, we'll still make sure you get some recognition for it, and we do appreciate everything. We oh. we live in the best community. We do. So what is the phone number that they can contact if they have any questions? 502-396-5412. Awesome. And so that's that's all they need to know about tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. come down and uh, now come be, down where we come down to Point ago. Park. Yeah. yeah, come down to Point Park. It's going to be a beautiful day weather-wise. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think you'll regret it, and uh, it'll be a great day for our community. Well, awesome, Holly. Thanks for being with us. Thank I you. really appreciate Thank this. You. So. Y'all make sure you make it out tomorrow, or if you can and you'd like to send in a donation, please try to do so. So as always, we appreciate our sponsors and we thank you for watching.